My name's Phil Dyke and I'm the Coast and Marine Advisor for the National Trust. Predominantly on coastal change management issues in response to sea level rise, increased flooding, erosion, climate change, etc. for the future and for very much for the National Trust, what it means for our places because we own about 10% of the coast of England, Wales and Northern Ireland. We're now on Bramsey Island in the middle of Poole Harbour on the south coast of England. It's a small island owned by the National Trust, about a mile long and half a mile wide. Very interesting history and we're now standing in front of um, some of the buildings that form that historical interest. What we're thinking about for the last decade or more is how the National Trust is going to respond managing its coastline in the face of changing weather patterns as storms intensify as climate kicks in. We're already experiencing periodic flooding from the sea, either in terms of storm surge or actually simply sometimes just on high tides. And what we think we need to do for the future is to alter these buildings to make them more resilient, not putting in sea defences, but perhaps simply moving over time into the first storey and, and abandoning the bottom storey. Science is absolutely fundamental to getting a handle on the changes that are coming down the tracks at us at the moment. We've got evidence on sea level rise. Are we looking at you know a third of a metre, a metre, a metre and a half over the next hundred years? It's really important for us to be able to plan with those sorts of long-term scenarios in, in mind. If you pursue that idea that engineering solutions aren't going to be appropriate everywhere, or even affordable, or even technically achievable, the other option is to think about using and harnessing natural processes. Sand dunes, for example, and salt marsh also, in its natural form, is a really good natural sea defence. It's a great habitat for wildlife, but it's also a really good sea defence because sand dunes and salt marsh absorb wave energy and reduce the kind of attrition of erosion at the shoreline. So if we can maintain healthy natural ecosystems wherever possible at the coast, they will actually help to protect the coast. And, and, and better than that, they'll also adapt themselves in response to rising sea levels. If the space behind, the sand dune will erode and reform and erode and reform. So there's real merit in thinking um, about the benefits of working with natural processes.